Number four is ease in. I live near the Pacific Ocean. Whenever I get into the water, I get my ankles acclimated first. Then I walk in up to my knees, and then it's my waist and chest before taking the plunge. Some people just run and dive in and get it over with. Good for them, not me. I like to ease my way in. This is probably residual trauma from my childhood, as you'll see in the next strategy. For some of your long-standing and deep-rooted habits, it might be more effective to take small steps to ease into unwinding them. You may have spent decades repeating, cementing, and fortifying those habits, so it can be wise to give yourself some time to unravel them, one step at a time. A few years ago, my wife's doctor required that she cut caffeine from her diet for several months. We both love our coffee, so if she was going to have to suffer, I decided it was only fair that we do it together. We first went to 50-50, 50% decaffeinated and 50% regular for a week, then 100% decaf for another week, then Earl Grey decaf tea for a week, followed by decaf green tea. It took us about a month to get there, but we didn't suffer even one moment of caffeine withdrawal. No headaches, no sleepiness, no brain fog, no nothing. However, if we had gone cold turkey, well, I shiver at the thought.